beef that he did, that he had to salt because usually it comes super super salty. Yeah, I mean, he bought a really nice cut, he said, and he's like, it just had no salt in it. He was like, it's really strange because usually it's like all salt is really you can taste. I liked it. It was good. Good, good. So, yeah. yeah. So we like having people over and feeding them. And well, no, we gotta have you guys. But maybe we'll do it when we can go outside so Dana doesn't have that dog issue. Well, as soon as windows can get open, yeah. it's it's fine. It's, okay. it's totally fine. It's yeah. like, you know, honestly, it's like as soon as it's just that when houses like with this room, our house right now, and, you know, it's just that stale air yeah. that doesn't. And as soon as things and and he gets out of like the when we're not worried about flu or pneumonia. You know what I mean? Like all because because he can go there pretty quickly. Oh really? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. He gets, like his lungs. Yeah. 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 Like, it's weird. not good. Yeah, yeah. He's good. We're, yeah. we're like two. It's really nice on Sunday. So I think it's supposed to be.
Okay, I guess we're on. Uh, we'll begin with the... Uh, March 19th, we're here for a uh, building committee uh, meeting, We uh, regular monthly meeting. We have an agenda, um, and the first item is uh, approval of minutes from last meeting. Why don't we take a look at those, and when we're ready, maybe somebody can make a motion. This. They were in the, in the uh, email, I think. So, um, okay, second. Anybody notice any changes or? Okay. Can't do that. Excellent. Sorry, I, I cannot hear what he's saying, so. I don't have the minutes in front of me, but go ahead. It says Greg Morrow said that the remaining balance is $1,000,000. Yeah, it's the unencumbered amount right now. So with those changes, we have a, a motion and a second. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Meeting minutes are approved. And then, uh, Greg, could you give us a project update, please? Sure. Happy to. Um, based on <coughs> our from last meeting, uh, you won't see a whole lot of uh, things completed or done from our last meeting that you noticed. But sheet rocking, uh, plumbing rough in, electrical rough in, uh, areas are getting finished up, especially at the elementary school. Uh, so we'll, we're, we're moving forward on, on planned schedule as we, we have. Um, we're looking to actually turn over, uh, I'll call it the east uh, side of the elementary school um, in, in April and start moving into that area, uh, as well as um, those areas at the high school keep moving forward, so so we're right on target. We're doing quite well, and we have actually a couple things that are that are ahead of schedule uh, due to some changes that we had. Uh, the elementary kitchen, as you know, uh, we've been on a temporary serving line. is actually targeted to open new kitchen on April 8th uh, for serving the students, and we were we are targeting uh, the returning uh, uh, April 29th. Uh, which is that Monday returning from school vacation that the um, kitchen at the high school, the new kitchen at the high school will be up and operational. So we have some uh, real good uh, news on those areas. Uh, a lot of work's gonna happen in uh, April vacation, uh, but we continue to move forward and we're actually in pretty good shape uh, uh, with, with the scheduling and where we are at this point. So Greg, the site work will start on uh, a renew again on April 1st? <coughs> that is correct. Yep. Okay. <coughs> right. It's on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It is targeted for the beginning of April for both sites uh, to kind of resume. Yeah, just to refresh, the, if you can, the, uh, Greg, the committee on what that will entail and. The biggest change, the biggest area of impact is around the high school. So you'll be looking at a lot of the. Uh, roadway construction that goes around the back, uh, uh, setting of, uh, uh, placing of uh, sidewalks, curbing, um, the, the binder coats for the new uh, driveway and parking areas around the, uh, the high school, 
will all be installed uh, through that April area. And again, weather does kind of play a role to all of that. At the elementary school, you'll see continued areas of uh, the new sidewalks that, that are gonna be put in, uh, coming out of the back of the school, down the sides of the school, regrading. Uh, so all of those will be happening in that April period. So that's where you'll notice most of it. And then where you'll see some big stuff won't be at the elementary until after school gets out where we'll be digging up the uh, front parking lot and putting in the new drainage systems and, and repaving that area out there. We're running on, both schools are running on their permanent boilers and we have not had, <laughs> being careful, I'll go with the knock here. Uh, we have not had any issues with the new boilers, been quite happy with them. They're gone. So what we saved by removing, thank you, Tim. What we saved by removing the boilers earlier, we made up for in expediting the construction project to make the connections for the new boilers. So yeah, so we're that's moved forward, and actually the physical boilers plant is actually gone. Okay, that's my update. Any other questions? Okay, um, you covered part of the next one, Greg, and then uh, just could you go over your, your financial document? Sure, I'm happy to. Um, as you know, we go through this uh, every month, and so what we do is we are weekly, we get, do a weekly updates and projections of where we are cost-wise. Um, so as you know, the, the original project was $38,900,000. 943. Um, the revised is 38 million 946, which is a reflection of the um, the garage that we sold at the high school. Uh, so that's still right in our, our um, revised total right now with the uh, GMP is 34 million as of the date of this document is 34 million 107 434, and that includes all the change orders and change estimates that have been approved as of the date of this document, uh, which is uh, $465,374. We are on target. Um, financially, we are keeping right in with what we had uh, uh, done for our due diligence of projections and, and uh, where we would be moving forward uh, at, at, at this point. So I, I feel pretty comfortable with where we're, we're headed. And we have some placeholders, as we've talked before, for unsuitables and some areas that if we don't know, and those are in our projections as we go forward, too. So uh, I think right now we, we, we're in pretty good shape. As I mentioned, also in my report, we're, uh, we've hit a lot of our, 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 our goals ahead of time, uh, which has been great. Uh, the nice thing is, again, back to the kitchens are going to be open ahead of time, uh, which really plays a good role. Kudos to the schools. Uh, we've had a lot of movement around the schools. We've had a lot of things going on. Uh, the principals have been awesome. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work when you start looking at all the moving parts and pieces, and you know, it affects people here and there, but uh, I've got to say everybody's been really uh, quite awesome of trying to get all of this coordinated and getting all the little bits and pieces moving ahead. So uh, I think we're doing quite well in that. Any questions? Correct. Will be serving? Yes. They'll be serving out of that? Yep, yes. after school break, yes. After school break? Yes, they'll be serving out of it. Um, there will be, they'll actually have to walk to where the cap is now because the new cafeteria, the new kitchen is where the new calf will be, which is not, ca or cafetorium, I should say, at that point, is not there. So they'll be actually walking through the media <laughs> center into the calf, so the current calf. Like yep, the yep, there'll be. Yep, there'll be a doorway through the media, uh, excuse me, the library, which will, uh, the students will be able to come through and go into the existing calf during that transition period. But we will have that all up and running. It's actually, 
Uh, if you go on the, our, our school website and go on the facilities, you can see a lot of the pictures that we have, have of those areas and floors, are, floor tiles all installed and hoods and all of that and they're all installed. So it's really moving quite well. Any other questions? So we're going to get done early here. Um, so a couple of, couple of things just of note. Um, again, just for maybe public benefit, as we all know, we say meeting to meeting that we're just too early in the process to be considering um, adopting any ad alternates, uh, given how far we have to go on the project and, um, and uh, looking at the budget overall. So that's item D, which is crossed out. Um, final thing, which kind of relates that, um, you know, the, this building process is Al and I went over to the legislature yesterday and we we're one of a hundred literally people who spoke. We got three minutes each and put in a plug for, um, um, to the finance committee to bring back uh, uh, capital building aid for, for school buildings. Um, it, uh, admittedly, we were amongst a lot of other folks who, um, <laughs> whose needs in comparison were made ours look like a you know not 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 so bad but um, in any event we were there I think Pittsfield came and talked about it they came after we left it literally went from noon until about eight o'clock at night public public comment so who knows um, they heard it uh, I saw a few heads shaking there seemed to be aware of the issue um, and Mike Mike Cahill continues to push that um, it's early in the process so it's tough to tell where it might go and uh, if it if it does happen really a uh, couple of issues how much it would be because uh, they have the tail to pay for for the next many years uh, of, of existing projects um, so I, it, if it comes back it won't come back to what it was um, in terms of uh, <clears throat> funds but something would be good so Amy Clark at the DOE, it was not set to be retroactive in the current language, but I think that's that's why the appeal, yeah. right, to potentially persuade them to do that. But I'm I'm not optimistic that the flavor is such that that will happen. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We, we mentioned it, but um, it would be the fair thing to do because uh, ours, uh, you know, we did the right thing by, by doing it. Um, it only gets more costly the more you you delay it, and so we made all those arguments. We'll just see. If that's anything else. Yeah, if no. just, a, just a quick question, and I, it, it's kind of maybe a long question, but a quick question. Um, just in terms of horizon thinking over the summer, can you give me just a one minute about what the goals are for the summer in both facilities? Well, uh, elementary school, simple. Be done. <laughs> yeah. Be 100% done. done. Yeah. You know, uh, or, or substantially <laughs> complete. <laughs> September 1st. Right. Yep, um, the high school is to have that whole area paved, done, parking out there, um, have some of the new areas opened up uh, going forward, uh, get some of those movements done done and in place is, would be our, our goal there. And then uh, that way uh, that can be focused on some of the renovation stuff that they have to do in the other areas that we have to get those open, the new areas open, which they're working diligently on. So that would be the goal. Yeah, we said we'd bring you a timeline at the April meeting, so we hope to do that. And the April meeting will be what on the sixteenth? Sixteenth, five o'clock. Five o'clock. April sixteenth, same time, five. <laughs> We'll be opening parts of it actually before that. Uh, the weight room, uh, that that whole area down there, the weight room, the uh, PE room, the uh, that addition that's down the back there will actually be opened uh, June. Right now we're targeting June 24. From a big picture plan, Russ, the idea is to occupy the new space while we finish renovating the interior space so that we have enough classroom um, space. That word a third day. Just in terms of, I know that there were some summer programs that we usually sponsor, um, but we weren't able to offer because of facilities uh, renovation. Are there, in the, the elementary?
we have not canceled any summer programs. They'll be at the elementary school. So the uh, West already open. <laughs> so Greg, will the air conditioning be ready to go in the library at the school at the elementary school for the summer? Or uh, that... I have to look. Well, it will be done, but mm -hmm. the timing of that when it's actually available for us to operate, um, I, I can't say off the top of my head right now. I'm, I'm kind of leaning it's going to be towards the middle to end of the pro of that project, not so much at the very beginning. John's shaking his head. Okay. If it were done, we wouldn't be able to utilize it. Right. Yes, you can't get to that part of the building. Right. Mike, I mm. Mm. I'm a member of the New Market Community Church, and uh, we're trying to improve our uh, quality of our sound in our sanctuary. And um, as you know, we were going to uh, demo the uh, sound panels that were in the old, uh, uh, the old music area. thank you because they salvaged rather than throw in the dumpster uh, a dozen large four by ten sound panels they salvaged them and put them in the front hall for me and we uh, successfully hauled them off to the church and we're in the process oh, of great. trying to uh, uh, refurbish those and reuse those panels so I wanted to say thank you to everyone involved. It's great. Works <laughs> <laughs> Russ, you'll be blessed. Goodwill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you, everyone.